I Wear My Sunglasses at Night Written by Paul Astor Cohen Narrated by Nikki Chapter 16 The basement door exploded off its hinges and Nikki walked out, furious and full to the brim with rage. She looked around the room and couldn't see or hear anything except the crackling of the fires growing near. She rushed to a nearby window and looked out at the flames, moving rapidly down the ridge towards the houses. She kicked the entire front door frame off and sent it across the street, then stomped onto the yard surveying the neighborhood, looking for Layla and Derek. She looked miles up and down the winding street for a sign of the caravan. She locked onto a group at the edge of the neighborhood. They were dumping bodies onto a front lawn, laughing and placing them into compromising positions. Fuel for the fire. The sidewalk shifted under her feet as she tore off towards them. "'What's that sound?' one of the men said, dropping a half-naked corpse onto the front lawn. His partner also heard the sound and stopped. He was about to ask the other what he thought the sound was, but it stopped. He looked over and saw his co-worker with a fist-sized hole where his face once was. A surprised look of terror erupted across his face as he saw Nikki through the brain hole. Nikki tossed him halfway into one of the open emergency van sliding doors. The other man stammered and tried to run, but Nikki kicked him in the crotch so hard she split the man in two. The two parts landed with a wet thump on the grass, writhing and shaking. Man, I gotta work on that, she said, laughing. She walked over to the van where the man hung halfway out the sliding doorway and heard them. Derek and Layla. They were arguing in the distance. Her eyes focused, and she saw them in a second-story window of a house on the next block, and smirked madly, her grin a smattering of interlocking fangs. She kicked the van's sliding door closed, hard, severing the man in half, before rushing towards the house. Vampires and devotees had noticed the commotion and were making their way to front porches and lawns, ready for a fight. The sidewalks began to fill quickly with fists and fangs, so Nikki turned towards the house next door to where the arguing couple were and smashed through the front door. Without stopping, she made it straight up the stairs to the top floor in a matter of seconds, followed by the curses, growls, and screams of the others trailing behind. Nikki went room to room, trying to find an adjacent window facing the house next door. Her bare feet slid to a stop as she spotted the two lovers perfectly framed in a window. Men were rushing towards her from the stairs, gnashing their teeth and spouting strings of drool. The wooden planks of the house buckled underneath her feet as she rushed across the room and leapt through one window into the other. In a hail of glass shards and window frame pieces, her arms were wrapped around Layla, tight. Nikki's glowing, crazed eyes met Layla's surprised expression as they crashed through the floor. Nikki pummeled Layla all the way down until they smashed onto the bottom level. The ladies landed in the living room, followed by a rainstorm of debris. Nikki hadn't stopped the abuse, and she continued to drive her knuckles into Layla's face at an incensed pace. Now a lumpy black and blue bloody mess, Layla managed to kick her off. She landed on her feet in the hallway and slid on the newly waxed floor. A split second later, she was on Layla again, cracking ribs, breaking a leg and arm, grabbing her hair and smashing her face into her knee. Nikki's hands were violent killing machines, working on their own, fueled with hatred and fury. Nikki, stop, Derek said, rushing down the stairs. Nikki stopped mid-punch, her chest heaving, as she stared down at Layla, who wasn't much more than a pile of broken bones in a puddle of thick liquid. But she was still laughing, gurgling a mouthful of scarlet hatred from between Nikki's legs. Layla spat, attempting to lift her head to face her as she muttered, you ain't shit, bitch. Just you wait. I'm going to kick your bony little ass all the way back, too. Shut up! Derek made it to the bottom of the stairs, but was too late. Layla had a broken piece of window pane shoved through her heart, and now Nikki was the only one smiling. Layla tossed her an annoyed look. Nikki raised her arms out to her side, looking up at the hole in the ceiling as she burst into a massive ball of gore, sending pieces all over the room. When Nikki looked back down, there was nothing more than a bloody mess between her legs. She looked over at Derek, and a look of fear washed across his face. "'Nikki, look, it's not what it looked like,' he pleaded. "'This was just one big misunderstanding. I do love you, babe. Nick, look, this wasn't right. What I did wasn't right.' 
Nikki looked out the window behind him at the growing flames, close enough to start catching the backyard grass on fire. She heard the men shouting and then vans peeling out on the street outside. Nick, she took me. She did. Layla had her goons come and snatch me from our motel. I swear. I was straight up kidnapped. Nikki smiled at her ex-boyfriend and blew him a kiss. I heard it hurts like a motherfucker being burned alive. Take care, babe. Nikki! A second later, her feet were planted on the hot asphalt in the middle of the street as she looked down the road in the direction the van sped off to. Over her shoulder, fire crackled louder than she had ever heard before. The roof caught, then moments later, the house was completely engulfed. The deafening roar of the fires put Nikki at ease, and she closed her eyes, smiling. This has been I Wear My Sunglasses at Night. Written by Paul Astor Cohen. Narrated by Nikki. Copyright 2019 by Paul Astor Cohen. Production copyright by Paul Astor Cohen.